Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for the qualifying final. With me in the box for this match will be Gary Lyon. Welcome, guests. Thanks, Hutto. I'm ready for a big game here tonight. A week's rest is up for grabs tonight. Gaz, what's the value of a home prelim? It's almost worth a few goals, which could be the difference between winning and losing. Your ground, your crowd, have put you very close to playing in a grand final. Tonight's clash between Port Adelaide and Collingwood. They run on in full confidence. They're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. Colin Wolfe got a talented group in the middle. It's up to whether or not Port Adelaide can match them in the centre. Of course, Hannah. make their way to the middle for the toss. Collingwood winning the toss. And just moments away from the opening bounce. And here we go, it's Port Adelaide taking on Collingwood. Is in his possession, fighting hard was Dacos. Getting the ball. Life set, uses it by foot. Good mark and looks to send it back. Decides to kick. Easily takes the ball. Can he put it through? A great mark taken there. Butters, quick hands, just gave it away. Bring it back into play. Strong mark in the context. Cleary drives the kick. Dixon looking to track down the footy. Holding the ball. Great attack on the ball carrier. That kick goes out on the full. Looks up with the kick. Dug it out. Gets the loose ball. Slams it on the boot. Spills the mark. Jonas fangs it on the boot now. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Moves it by foot. A chance to gather the ball. We're back in motion. Life set. Thumped it clear. A clean collect. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? 
It's a really entertaining game of football. Adam's a better man there. Moves the ball by foot. And the mark will be paid. Port Adelaide is struggling to maintain the pace of the game. They might need to slow it down and take some uncontested marks to get the game back on their terms.
Chris elects to kick. Penalty. That's a great set of hands. Goes by hand to Murphy. Big run. Westhoff won the hit out. Even gives the don't argue. He goes for broke. That is a stunning goal. Puts through his first goal. He's enjoying that goal. Great start by Port Adelaide. Centre bounce. Life set. Got a fist to it. Ball up in the centre square. Thump by Lysette. Goes with the kick. A chance to reload the attack now. Keeps the kick low. Finds this one all by himself. With a driving kick. Couldn't snaffle it. Looks to move it by foot. The boundary line wins this race. Butters heads onto the ground. Will get the ball tossed back into play. Umpire tosses it in. Thrashes it. Here's Chris. Let him up, Robert. Punches it clear. Hammers it. Keeps it alive under some pressure. Great tackle. Westock finds a way to hang on. Big tackle. Going for distance with the kick. Finds a target. Murphy with a low spearing kick. Adams presents and takes the mark. Goes by foot. A race for the loose ball. Hurry kick. It's a foot race to get this one. Pow Pepper hacking it out of there. We'll get a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy. Kept his head and kicked the goal. He's absolutely loving it. Why not? Pretty happy with that one. Port Adelaide has three in a row. 19 points the difference. Winning it was Cameron. Moore coming onto the ground. The umpire will ball it up. Cameron gets onto the ball. The ball goes to ground. Elects to kick. Taking a nice grab. Port Adelaide for allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. They continue to get beat in this area. They'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Houston will be upset with that. A good job keeping it in play there. Makes it somebody else's problem. Thank you. Ball up on the outer side wing. Thump clear with the ball now. And now we'll have a ball up. Cameron thrashes it. Winds on the ball. Wants to keep it moving. He can take off after that handball. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. Fans crossing their fingers. Hoping he can put this one through the big sticks. West off to have the shot from outside 50. Finds this and marks well. Ruffin kicks it. The mark has been taken. Works the ball out of the 50. Takes the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes that one strong. This is kickable by his standards. Normally a good shot on goal. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kick by Ruffhead. Open opportunity for Murphy. Now with a low spearing kick, takes it well. Trelaw goes with the kick. Brown wins the marking contest. He drives it. Maynard over the top. 
clearing kick out of the defensive 50. Takes Gaz, your thoughts on the first quarter? Port Adelaide have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Let's see what the stats have to show. Port Adelaide can't winning as much of the footy, but are still controlling the contest. Their efficiency with the ball is superior at the moment. Much appreciated, Gaz.
We're ready for the second quarter action. Umpire ready to resume play. Life set. Thumps it clear. He's got the footy in his hands. It's somehow pitched over the line. And it's a goal. Gets his first. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. The game is back underway. Lysette just swats it away. Pendlebury controlled the difficult ball. And the umpire will ball it up. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? This game needs a spark at the moment. Fantastic chase and tackle. Hunted down. Fantastic pressure there. needs a chance to rest. Slams it home. Look at them celebrate that effort. Port Adelaide have five unanswered goals. The margin is 31. Swats it. Even picks up the loose ball. Lysette looks in need of a spell. It's a turnover. Steers it towards goals. Collecting high fives now after that goal. He's enjoying every second of it out there. This one gives them a bigger lead. His teammates rush over. Thumps it clear. He wins possession. Releases the handball. He drives it towards goal. Makes the most of that kick. It's a goal. That's his first desperate times. And they deliver with a goal. It's great to watch how they plenty of excitement. He did really well there and gets the reward. Back in the middle now. Punched away. And now to Goey. Butters running off for a break. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Cameron with a big fist on it. Sweeping handball from Trelaw. He goes it alone. Oh, it's wide. Into the post it goes. They have to take those hard chances. Collingwood now only trailed by Burton. Decides to play on. Cleary kicks hard along the boundary line. The tackle deserves a free and gets it. Unable to create the space. Great tackle. Looking a bit sluggish out there. The kick towards goal. <laughs> Collingwood reduced the margin. Teammates break for him. Cleary decides to go to himself. Uses it now. Hartley takes the mark uncontested. Puts it on the boot. Good mark by Dersma. Uses it by foot. Does well to come off the kick. Good They've been careful with their ball movement, taking plenty of uncontested marks and looking to find targets in space. This will certainly test him from this distance. Side bottom, hammers it at goal. Nails the goal. He celebrates hard after that. Collingwood closed the gap to 23. Grundy thumps it forward. Chips it towards half forward. Decides to keep it alive. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. The kick connects with the post. Collingwood behind by 22. Weighing up the options now. Stevenson uses the body well. 40 metres from home. Moving on. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable effort. And it ends with a goal. Stevenson celebrates with the fans. The Magpies have kicked the last three goals. 
Collingwood reduced the margin. This is Grundy at full stride, receives the handball. Well collected. Lysette dug out the loose ball. Right there with the intercept. Ball up in the centre square. Lysette hurls it away. Manages to get a hand to it. What a brilliant tackle! A full body tackle! Brilliant chase. Moved on by Motlock. Terrific mark there. Puts boot to ball. They chase after the loose ball. Dersma going for number one. Made the distance, but it's a behind. Port Adelaide, Clee is now 17. Plays onto himself. Got boot to ball. Intercepts the ball well. 30 metres out. Going for goal number one. Takes the chance and says, thank you very much with that goal. He's excited about that one. Port Adelaide doing well at the moment. We're back in the middle now. Westock clears the contest. Has it now. Great tackle. Westock creates all sorts of problems for his opponents. Great tackling technique. Chose to kick it. Intercepted. Going for goal number one. It's going to be close. Smiles all around. That's two in a row for Port Adelaide. Now they lead by 29. Clears the contest. He's got the football now. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us, Gaz? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. Ball up in the centre square. Grundy with the punch. Now we will get a ball up. Thumps it clear. The loose ball picked up. Let him up, Robert. Ball up in the centre square. Big thump from Grundy. Wins the race to the ball. Awkwardly got the handball out. Fantastic chase and tackle. Didn't get away from that tackle. A great defensive effort. Collected by Moore. He looks like he needs a spell. The kick from Chris. Grundy gets on the end of this. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Port Adelaide forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Cox just threw it. Goes with the kick. Burn Jones determined to reach the ball. Mops up the loose ball. The kick releases the pressure. Didn't get away from the tackle. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Looking to rebound with this kick. Takes a simple grab. 30 metres from home. Golden opportunity here. Using every ounce of energy he has left. No issues with that drop pass. Adams getting his first with that kick. They get around him after that effort. Back in the middle to resume play. Port Adelaide are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Hammers it. He gains possession. Rockcliffe. Hurried kick. The siren sounds and that's the end of the term. The scores. Port Adelaide 50. Collingwood 27. Port Adelaide have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at halftime. Adams had it, lost it. Lysette on top of the ranking points. He is doing everything right. Halfway through this match and plenty more footy to come in the second half. A big second half about to begin. Back in the middle now as the Rucks go at it. Spots it. Pendlebury keeps coming. He flicks it over. Ball up in the centre square. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? 
I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. He gives it away. That's something to smile about. That's a second goal for Dacos. Celebrating hard. They're gaining momentum here. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. That ball up in the centre square. Punches it clear. Butters hits on the end of this. Dug out the loose ball. The tackle deserved a free and gets it. Couldn't see off Rockcliffe. Great tackling there, Hutto. Uses it by foot. Gets into a good position to take that. 35 moves it now. Flying high and he grabs the ball. Dacos sends one up towards the wing. Great mark under pressure. Moves the ball along the wing. Stevenson gets in the way. The ball mopped up. Quickly onto the boot. Great mark. Got the hands free. Jonas finds possession. Jonas won himself a free. Chips it towards half forward. Great mark in the pack. Port Adelaide have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Takes a nice mark. Pendlebury tries to gain some territory. Moves it by foot. Brown takes a strong mark. Chose to kick it. More marks in the better space. Uses it now. Takes an uncontested mark. Puts boot to ball. Coughed up by Evers. Ball collected. Thank you, Robert. Ball up on the outer side wing. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. It's a great match. Brown gurns a free kick. Uses it across half back. Murphy found a way to mark that one. Handballs, takes possession. Moore with a penetrating handball. Langdon gets streaming past and gets the footy. Finding the ball with ease. He takes aim. Looks okay. <laughs> Collingwood now only trailed by 16. Cleary deciding where to go with the kick in. Landed in his back on this occasion. Side bottom sets his sights on the goals. Big kick required from this distance. He's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. He delivers with the drop. That's two now. Planting his feet in front of goals. Side bottom couldn't be happier with that goal. West off with the hit. Didn't fumble. Links with hands. Taken by Cameron. Stevenson gives it to the player running past. What a fantastic goal. He acknowledges the crowd. Collingwood have four on the trot. The Magpies behind by four. West off with the hit. He gets his hands on the footy. What a brilliant tackle. A big tackle there. Constant pressure and rewarded. Dersmack collects the loose ball. Finds the loose ball. That's holding the ball. Fails to fend off the tackler. Showing some really good pressure there. Cameron needs to lift. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hunter. He gives away a free for in the back. Side bottom puts it on the boot. Does well to keep it in play. Didn't get low enough with the tackle. Decides to kick. Burn Jones marks up contested. Drives it long. Martin in space was Rockcliffe. Gets onto a massive kick. Ends up turning this ball over. Looks up with the kick. from this. It's a very tight game right now. Thump clear. Opportunity for Elliott. Picks up the loose ball. 
Puts it on the boot. More. Didn't mark it. I haven't seen him for a while, guys. Your right hand has just gone missing like that. He just loved that one. Back with another set of bounce. West off. Clears the contest. Pushes off the tackle. The ball goes out of bounds on the full. Elects to kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Bunnings goes for break. The drop ball sails between the big stick. About to resume hostilities. West off thumps it forward. Cameron releases the ball. Mitek going for number one. Summed it up and he delivers perfectly. We resume hostilities. Lysette just swats it away. He has the ball. Pau Pepper with the shot. Kick on the line. The drop pass goes straight for 12. About to resume play. Thump by Lysette. Doesn't take the mark. It was always pushing that post and pushing it. Looking for options now. Maynard plays it to himself with a driving kick. Pau Pepper couldn't keep his hands on it. Brown just blowing hard after that effort. Slams it onto the boot. Adams brushed off easily. Works it across the ground. He has to hold on to those. A chance to put a second goal on the board. He's excited about that one. Port Adelaide beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of 75 to 52. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. About to resume play. Port Adelaide have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. I haven't seen it for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Pumps the ball. Three-quarter time. Port Adelaide, 75. Plays Collingwood, 52. A quarter of footy to go. Port Adelaide believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. Plenty of scoring opportunities in the third term. It'll be interesting to see which team can capitalise in the final quarter. Cox drops the mark. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Port Adelaide have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Thanks, Gary. One quarter of footy to go. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. My set hurls it away. Goal! What a tackle! Ended up in trouble. Outstanding pressure. Just a moment. Port Adelaide get the margin out to four goals. More to kick it in. Stands tall and marks. 46. Lights his chances from there. He's enjoying that goal. That's a rip. Umpire ready to resume play. Thrashes it. He's got the footy in his hands. Wines goes with the kick. Finding the loose ball was Dixon. There's a bit of a rest. This is how they can score big cut out if they can do that. Back with another centre bounce. Punched away with the ball now. Ball up in the centre square. 
Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Moved on by Moore. Murphy gets in a good position. Goes by foot. Hoskinelli runs after the ball. Going for goal number two. Finds a bit of room to mark. Marshall takes the pressure of the goal kick. 25 metres out. Going for goal number three. Look at them celebrate that effort. Port Adelaide Clear is now 42. Clears the contest. Slams it on the boot. Ball hits the deck. It'll be a ball up. Port Adelaide are getting first use from their run. Trelaw will be the recipient of the free. Move it on! Sinks the slipper into it. Marks now and can send it back. That looked great! What a goal! This kick has extended that lead. But it's getting the crowd involved. Port Adelaide by 48. Great bit of play that resulted in that. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. Back in the middle to resume play. West off with the punch. Kicks hurriedly. Has to do better than that in the mark. He doesn't want to let his teammates down with this shot at goal. 46. Mark to the goal. Sees the opportunity and was able to take it. This lead getting bigger now. His teammates rush over. Port Adelaide with a handy break. They lead Collingwood 106 to 52. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. We're back in motion. Westhoff thrashes it. Gets a quick kick away. A good mark out of the circumstances. Kick by Hoskinelli. A mark by Murphy. Releases the handball. I hate to say it, Hutto, but this game is over. Westhoff won the hit out. Showed good control. He might kick a goal. A time to celebrate. That pushes the lead further out. He loved that one. Port Adelaide by 10 goals. Some great ball movement there. Just knew they were going to score. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Port Adelaide are allowing the opposition some time on the outside, but it isn't hurting them too badly. Lots of uncontested ball for not much reward. Adams links with a teammate who can run. Ball gets cut off. 35 quickly onto the boot. Langdon spills it. The loose ball scooped up. Sweeping handball. Massive kick here. They need to convert this opportunity. Side ball celebrating hard. Plenty of time left in the game. So there's still a chance. He did really well there and gets the reward. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Collingwood can't afford to be missing this many chances in front of goal. It might cost them the game. About to resume hostilities. Punched away. Cameron grabbed it clean. Majek wins the foot race. Penetrating handball. He has the ball. To go, he can bring the fans along for this game. Collingwood close the gap to 53. 
good mark and looks to send it back. 40 metres out. Stevenson might have overworked himself there. Kick on the way. Look at him, he really enjoyed that one. Collingwood now only trail by 47. Punches are clear. He's got the football now. Adam drives the kick. Gets into some space to mark this. Port Adelaide just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside the Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Winning it was Grundy. What a brilliant tackle! Majek applying the pressure. Moves the ball by foot. A big contested grab. Burn Giants moves it now. Marks now and can send it back. Side bottom got the hands free. Has it now. He heads for home. Kick the last four goals. Probably left their run a little late here. Close pin. Okay. My ball, says the umpire. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. Couldn't get the hand pass away. Thirty-five has resources out wide. Found space for an easy bar. Runs out of room and we're going to throw in. Ball over the line. Ball back into play. Thump clear. Use the hands and gives away the free. The kick from Jonas. Clear free kick. Hoskin Elliott with a chance if he can keep his cool. Almost certain to go through from this distance. Needs a bit of a rest. He needs to convert. Any chance from here. Collingwood reduced the margin. Clurie with the kick in duties. Plays on. He drives it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Well, he hasn't had the impact we were expecting. The tackle deserves the free and gets it. Great tackle. Adam for the chance to line up for goal. 35 metres out. Using every ounce of energy he has left. They are happy with that effort. Congratulated by his teammates. Collingwood have kicked the last five goals. Collingwood behind by 28. That's holding the ball. Laying a strong tackle. Coaches love to see that kind of tackling pressure. Holding the ball. Houston into the line of fire. Showing some really good pressure there. Brown tucks it into the pocket. Adam grabs that one. Looks to move it by foot. Turned it over. We'll have another ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? There's not enough effort out there at the minute. It's a win for Port Adelaide. Gary, what do you make of the result? Both sides had their chances to stamp their authority on this one, but in the end, it was the finishing skills inside 50 that gave us the result. Final scores at 112 to 84. On behalf of Gary Lyon, thank you for joining us. We'll see you again soon.